Here are three signs that you grew up with an emotionally immature parent. Buckle up. Number one, you don't feel emotionally attached to your parents now because they never made an emotional connection with you when you were a child. If you grew up with an emotionally immature parent and they try to show affection to you later on in life, it can make you feel uncomfortable, it can creep you out, it can make you cringe because it's something that you're not used to. It also might feel wrong for you to call them mom and dad. Number two, they guilt trip you for absolutely everything. They have no idea how to regulate their own emotions. So subconsciously, they believe that you do not have that ability either. I remember being about 12, 13 years old and hearing, do you know how easy it would be for me to throw myself in front of a car on the way to work? Like, was it I was a child. So many emotionally immature parents will borderline threaten you with their own life. They'll say things like, well, wouldn't it be easier if I wasn't here? And they'll do that face. <laughs> I remember once I had a job interview in another country, right? And it was like a three hour drive. And on the way home, it was dark, it was late. And my battery on my phone was about to die. So I rang my parent and I said, look, my battery's about to die. I'm not going to find my way home. So I will find the nearest hotel, check in, stay there the night. Hopefully someone's got a charger in the hotel and then drive home in the morning. But I wasn't allowed. I was made to feel guilty because I would have left the family dogs with my mother. Even though that's where they always were. Number three, they don't care about your boundaries. This starts from when you're very, very young and you say like, I don't want to do that. And your parents will say, you'll be fine. Don't worry. Like, I've just told you no. And you've said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then later on in life, where you try to set actual boundaries, I'm mature enough to tell you, parent, that I don't want to do this or you shouldn't do this. They either don't respect your boundaries. Back to number two, they make you feel guilty for setting boundaries. How can my own child set a boundary with me, their loving parent?